Hey guys, Caro here and welcome back to my channel and today we're on season one episode three of Grimm and I'm still waiting to get sucked in completely with this show right now. I'm definitely intrigued by it, there's no doubt about it, um, but I'm just waiting for that character, you know, that I just fall in love with. But as you know, it's really early days, so I'm not writing it off just yet. I'm going to crack on with it. I want to thank you all for watching these videos because it really does mean the world to me. Don't forget to like it if you are enjoying it and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to but as always there is no pressure here i have extended and early uploads of everything that you see here on youtube over on patreon as well and exclusive videos as well so you know if that interests you head on over there but without further ado i'm gonna grab me cuppa i'll roll the intro and we'll get stuck into it here we go She'll sting you one day, oh ever so gently, so you hardly even feel it, so you fall dead. If you see red bottom shoes, you know that they're, they're going to be in trouble, you know? They do be dangerous. He's acting shifty as... It's a flash mob! <laughs> She is not vibing with this at all. <laughs> She's like, get me out of here, damn it. Dying on a streetcar while dancing to YMCA. What do you think? Sounds like a crappy way to go. She been stung? <sighs> Holy. I looked like that yesterday, not going to lie to you. It was a rough day yesterday. Cause of death, anaphylactic shock. Mode, apitoxin. Fucking, like, it just gets worse every time I see it. Definitely a homicide. 7.14 a.m., there's your victim. Did she just touch her neck then? Adam, it's like they're waiting for a cue. Now that's a flash mob. And there, we lost her. Can you do anything, Will? No, that's it, the camera's stationary. She falls out of sight. You get this on the news, anyone innocent should come right forward. You sure this wasn't a random killing? It doesn't look like it. All right, well, anything you need, you let me... I really don't like this guy. Was Serena working on anything that could have motivated this? A particular case, a problematic client, anything? Not that I remember. I... Not everyone likes lawyers. <clears throat> well, we'll need to look through all of Serena's casework just to be certain. Full access. Whatever you need. I'll messenger everything over. What makes a guy want to work every day in such a dangerous environment? A robbery homicide too tame for you? Yeah. Fair play. Queen. She likes you, detective. I mean, that looked so... That didn't look good. <laughs> I did, detective. Is he gonna, like, morph out or whatever in front of him now? This apotoxin has no known origin. The plot thickens. I don't mind bees, but wasps. Oof, there is a no for me. Fun with your interrogations. We will. I didn't know anyone on that streetcar. Then why were you there? I got the invite. And danced the YMCA. There were a lot of us on there. How was I supposed to know someone was getting killed? Can I go now? Actually, no. I mean, it's kind of clever, the idea. I mean, it's not good. <laughs> but it is kind of clever. Can I see the tweet? Yeah, text savvy guy like yourself. I'm sure you still have it on your phone, right? I got some personal stuff on there. Okay, you'd have to show the personal stuff. Just the tweet will do. I was on the other side. Really? Because in your previous statement, you said you didn't see her at all. So which one is it? Uh, busted. Come on, let me see the phone, dog. Unless you're hiding something. Oh, we're not going to talk about what just happened. Your address. Benefit of social media. It is him. Cover for a murder. Oh shit, there's more of them. You get something off this Doug Shell guy? There's a swarm of them. I can go pay Look how messy it is there. Holy. It's a no. It's a very strong no. Like, you just go in there and look. You walk through all the webs, and I'll just trail behind you. Oh, 
No. It reminds me of a time I was in Canada and this this happened to me trying to get fuel and we were literally swarmed. And the guy that worked there just was not asked at all. And we were like, where'd they go? He got called away. He got stung then. I'd be in there all night. <laughs> like, that's me. That's me now. This is where I live. Come on, let's get you some help. I got stung by a bee once. Oh no, it wasn't a bee, it was a wasp, sorry. And it really, really did hurt. Aw, maybe you were their flower. Excuse me? Be <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I just have to do some research. Won't be long. Yeah, well, we've been turning the snow sleep thing into an art form lately. She's worried about him and worried about them. Oh, this is where he's kept it. I did wonder about this because, like, just next to his house, I'd me... I'd me Panicking. I love those types of sketches. Mm. What was that? Or was they just cutting a tongue out? Mark can be found under the tongue in both human form and morphed form. Whoa! There, 5-0. What are you doing there? Oh. I was gonna say that's a bit weird. He just turns up. A partner for this stuff? Yeah, you. <laughs> and the bees, you completely understand. Lucky me. Right, so when everything's like the supernatural side, he'll call this what is it again? Blute bot. And then when it's the more procedural police stuff, it's his actual police partner. I don't need you for what you know, I need your nose. Oh, I get it. So little Timmy stuck in a well and you need Lassie to come find him? Boy, you really know how to butter a guy up for a favor. I got a bottle of 78 Bordeaux in my trunk. I can maybe catch a scent. <laughs> okay, maybe I can help out. What kind of message is it when they murder an innocent woman? Maybe she wasn't so innocent. She did wear red bottom shoes, I'm just saying. I'm definitely getting a female scent here. Undeniable. You're that sure? No, her perfume. It's called Undeniable. <laughs> I kind of love him. I just think about Prison Break whenever I see him, though. He scared me in Prison Break. I sniffed her out. Good you did. Boy. Well, well done. Good boy. <laughs> well, that do be an impressive house. So I'm not going to jump out and scare me. This is so the part of the horror movie where the sidekick gets it. Yeah. Stay close. Is that all honey? No, blood. Why the fuck would it be honey? Sort yourself out. I'm confused because the colour of it looked like blood. But then... Sergeant Wu just called from Chapman Square. There's been another flash mob murder. Another one? That's Camilla Gottlieb. She was on the Primrose paper case with Serena. Let's say we got ourselves a pattern. There's a third lawyer on the case. Oh, of course it's her. So what's he going to say here now? Surely he's going to say, what the fuck were you trying to inject me with? You know this woman? Yes. Uh, for a second, I thought I'd seen her somewhere before. But you're not sure? Look at him just checking in. He's so slimy, this guy. I need to see their tongues. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, she had to cut the tongues out. So gross. Oh my, imagine having that job. I just... Oh my God. I thought that was weird too. <sighs> uh... <coughs> Jesus. Why is this knocking me so much? I've seen worse. I'm sure I've seen worse. I must just be tender today. Some people don't get the big picture. I was just doing my job. Hey, so am I. Just trying to get to the truth here. Unless Miss Shade has something to hide. Yeah, Miss Shade. I told you, it wasn't personal. 
Burkhart remembers me. He pushed him, but he's keeping it to himself. Maybe he's just waiting to get me alone. I won't let anything happen to you. Is that what you told Serena and Camilla? Find this queen. I'm not the only one who's going to get stung. Nick, Captain C. Hey, come now. Camilla, so Sounds serious. This isn't over. You got the phone? Oh, you're just going to leave him with his phone? You're going to leave him with his phone? Hello? Oscar-worthy performance, De Niro. Middle school drama club. That's better work. Oh, okay. It was on purpose. Let him off. I was like, why would he do that? That's so dumb. But it's a trap. Okay. Here's the message. They don't know as open as... Adelaide. A.S. Adeline Shade. Adeline, sorry, not Adelaide. He just told Melissa Wincroft to make their move. I know what you are. I'm an attorney. You're a hexen beast. Just like Serena and Camilla. I saw their marks. Detective Adderley. You tried to kill my aunt in the hospital, but you got me instead. Who do you work for? Him? Your boss. I want to go to jail. <laughs> oh, so he was one as well? He'll find her. Imagine seeing that. Just maybe just shut. Yep. Well, then who could blame me for making a mistake and letting a queen Mellifer kill another hexen beast? <laughs> this won't end well. For you. Or you. Maybe if something happens to me, it won't just be a grim killing a hexen beast. It'll be a cop who's let an innocent woman die on his watch. What are you doing? Just shut the door, put towels in front of it, and go. Or, you know, just keep wafting a towel. That's going to work. Well, now I feel stupid because it did work. <laughs> is she running from him as well as this, the bees? <gasps> She's waiting again with this thing. Like, what is, what is it? Oh, no, it's her. Back away. I mean, he kind of had to do that then. It, he was, she was going to attack his partner. He's coming for you. Who? Oh. Beware. It's close. It's his boss, isn't it? She's on about his boss, right? He's coming for you. down the bad ones just like your ancestors did just the bad ones i mean you did save hank if she wasn't going for hank then i think the outcome might have been a bit different she kind of forced his hand there without meaning to i'm gonna close the window no i got it okay go back to bed ah! what happened just got mm. that's what you get for killing the queen i guess I enjoyed that episode a lot. I feel like we're getting a little bit closer to the big bad, shall we say, and him finding out what's going on. I think the, the most frustrating thing is when he meets someone that knows information, but they don't, they don't give it. They, they talk in riddles, like, he's coming. Like who? Just to say who it is, say the facts and we can sort this out. They just expect him to know everything and then make the right decision. Surely they know he's new, right? I mean, maybe they don't. Maybe that's the answer. They, they have no idea that he's a new Grim and doesn't really know anything at this point. I mean, yeah, he's got loads of books and he's been reading up and stuff, but it's very new territory for him. So when they all talk in riddles, it's like, please just give us the facts. Like even his aunt was doing it, his aunt was murdered for it. And she knew full well that he knew absolutely nothing about being a Grim or that this world existed. And one other thing I might add is he's handling it so well, <laughs> so well, considering he's seeing all of these like terrifying things. Like if I saw some chick morph into a bee, Oh my gee, I won't sleep for a week. I mean, to be fair, he isn't sleeping. <laughs> They've kind of confirmed that, so I don't know what I'm trying to say there. And I know that his missus, um, his girlfriend or fiance, potentially, is worried about him. Like it's keeping her up at night, knowing that he's up at night. 
Hank obviously is on edge around Nick because he knows that Nick's acting different, but he doesn't know why. And they're obviously very close friends, so he can sense that something's a little bit different. I think Nick's just going through it right now and he just, he needs a win. He needs some answers. I mean, if it was me personally, I'd be living in that caravan and I'd just be soaking up all that information as much as I possibly could. But obviously he's got a job to do as well. So he hasn't got the time in the day to research everything, have this lovely relationship at home, as well as be a detective and, and working hard and being a grim. Like he's just, yeah, he's probably very overwhelmed with everything that he's had to face right now. Yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. I did enjoy that one. I, I, I do kind of want to watch the next one straight away as well, which I, I might end up doing. <laughs> but I want to thank you for watching this reaction. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you want to see more, if you want to see them extended, early you know head on over to my patreon and i will love you forever <laughs> but yeah if not i hope to see you for the next reaction here on youtube and please remember i have all of my socials as well all of my links are listed in the description of this video so please take the time to check that out and i hope to see you for the next one look forward to reading your comments guys thank you so much bye for now